YouTube, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. It is your boy Zay back on your screen. And today, guys, I'm back on some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I know I haven't been posting COD too often recently, and it's not nobody's particularly fault. I mean, it kind of is my fault in a way. This game has been like, I want to say, I'm not going to say it's been struggling, but it has been like killing me to play this game recently just because of the fact that like it's getting boring. And also, because like, Black Ops 6 is right around the corner, you know what I'm saying? Literally, as posting this, Black Ops is probably going to be coming out at the end of this week, this coming week. So, this coming Friday, Black Ops 6 will be dropping. And I'm very excited for that. I haven't been having, like, the motivation to play this game because I'm just tired of playing this game at this point. Like, there's a lot of BS that happens in this game at this point, and I'm just, you know, like, I'm really just tired of it. I just been avoid playing it as much. I haven't really been giving you guys too much content on it. You know what I mean? But I haven't played other games. I don't know if you guys have been checking this out. Those who have been checking it out, I appreciate your support. Those of you who are still currently watching me play or drop these kind of videos, even though they're not, you know, often, greatly appreciate you guys. But at the same time, you gotta understand, this game's not gonna be hot topic for much longer. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to just kind of like dial that back from it. So another spotlight's gonna pretty soon be on uh, Black Ops 6. When Black Ops 6 does drop, I'm gonna try. Well, I'm not gonna try, I am. I'm gonna back, go back to posting daily COD videos, of course. Daily COD videos, and of course, I'm still gonna, not gonna stop playing my other games. I'm gonna play my other games as if, you know, something exciting comes out and I feel like playing it, then I'll give it a shot for you guys. If it does well, we'll continue playing it as well as dropping my COD videos. But like I said, I'm gonna try to post COD videos as often as I can for the Black Ops is released. So, expect that from me, for sure. Hello. Oh, Lord. Oh, he's in the corner? Damn. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I had a plan in the beginning of October, well, in September, I had a plan to, like, how I was gonna do things since Modern Warfare 3 was dying out, and, like, I was very excited to also play, like, Assassin's Creed when it first dropped, but it got pushed back because of fucking Ubisoft doing some dumb shit. Everything. So, they kind of messed up the plan that I had set up and everything. I was gonna be streaming that, a couple other games, so, like, it just kind of threw me off track, and it was like, okay, so I didn't have Assassin's Creed to play. I was still playing, uh, you know, my other games on my channel, but, like, Assassin's Creed was one of the main ones that I had, like, envisioned to, like, to stream and go crazy on and just play so much of until, like, the time came when Black Ops 6 dropped, so I was gonna spend most of my time playing that, and when I didn't go my way, I just, like, I kind of, like, just fell off. Like, I didn't know what to do, so I was kind of lost, and I was just kind of, like, in, like, this blank space where I didn't know what to do, what to post, and I kind of, like, had no motivation because, like, everything just got my, like, killed my vibe for the time being. That makes sense. Hope that does make sense to you guys. Like I said, Black Ops 6 is on the rise. We're excited for that. We're waiting for that. Why are you up there camping, my dog? No! God damn it. Pretty much this is like an update video. Uh, I'm not entirely sure when this is going to come out, but more likely it's going to come out before I drop. Well, before Black Ops 6 drops, essentially. So yeah, you guys will definitely be seeing this before Black Ops 6. I'm not sure if I'm thinking about last MW3 video or if I have another one after that before Black Ops 6 drops, maybe. Not too sure. But if it is, if it just happens to be my last video before Black Ops 6, uh, so long MW3. See you later. Or see you never again. Give it Oh, so. What should I do? A spare? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my lord. Bombo. Uh huh. Terrible shitty place for me. Nasus going is insane. Oh my god.
I'm being quite honest, guys, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I feel like the whole idea of pretty much making us wait three years for the next guy is kind of ass. Like, I'm not really sad and ponder it and realize, like, how it feels to really be sitting here waiting for the next time to come out. And how we have to, like, really just play through even the struggles of a game. It's, like, selling out in a way. Like, the game, if the game's going down, like, I'm gonna be through for it, for example. Like, it started out good. And then, like, even by the fact that we've been playing it for so long, it seemed like the game is just not any more fun. And the longer that that goes on, the more that I realize, like, having to wait that long for the next COD is, like, it's, like, it's almost as if you're, like, addicted to a drug. And you're not getting enough of that drug constantly. So, when it gets taken from you or makes you, make you wait longer than you usually have to wait. Because we're not used to usually waiting this long. But when you have to wait an extra amount of time for the next one to come out it just makes you like it, it, it start, you, start, you start to like feel like you're with, going into withdrawal you know like you can't live without that next cod or that next fix it almost makes me sick a little bit i don't know it just comes it becomes like really depressing because like now it's like okay we're waiting for that next hype to, to hit us and we can't get it at the same time we got all the other ones so now it's like what do you do? Which is kind of where I've been at recently. Like I've been sitting here just trying to like figure out what to do next, what to keep, what to keep doing to like to keep my content rolling out. And it's like my videos have been doing okay, but at the same time they're not doing as like they usually do because I'm not playing my usual game, which is Call of Duty. So I don't know. I've been trying to hang on though. You guys see, see I'm posting COD here and there, but not as often as I used to, which kind of sucks in a way. But also like my mental state is like I gotta, I can't keep playing this knowing that the new COD is like right around the corner and like. I have to wait like extra long just to get my hands on it. I mean, it's not fair. I mean, it makes sense as to why they did it and like how they're doing it, but it just like, it sucks. It really does. <laughs> this guy up here? I think I saw him go up here. Hello. This suppressor helps a lot. SCG is like such an overpowered weapon, bro. At this point in MW3, they're making everything overpowered. <laughs> they're dropping uh, aftermarket parts up the ass for like every single weapon to make it overpowered. I guess it makes sense they want everybody like i said before uh they want everybody to enjoy the game now the game's coming to a closing like literally this is the last week everybody's gonna be in mb3 and black ops 6 is like literally the end of this week black ops 6 drops so everybody's gonna be on that shit more than likely people are gonna do the, the glitch not the glitch but it's not really a glitch we're gonna do the time change thing where like you can reverse the time back on their uh console it only works on console to get the game to play early a day early which i'm more than likely gonna try and do the same thing I'm being honest. Hello, but, wow okay spamming that shotgun it's insane Um, he's hiding. Scary motherfucker. Dumbass. These guys are playing a real safe game right now. Can't even lie to you. Y'all are hiding so badly. That is insane. That is legit insane, bro. Oh yeah, y'all are scary, huh? There's no way y'all are that fearful. He's up there. Boys is hiding, bro. Oh my lord, they're hiding so badly. Crazy. I've never seen people hide so much in this game like right now, bro. Yeah, you were gonna die. Anyone of you guys trying to hide right now, you're gonna die. Let you guys know, alright? Be mindful. Not good to hide. No shot. An LMG. How did I not even see him on the floor right there? Look. Oh, Lord. You guys are playing like straight hoes. Got me. Oh, 
Oh, that's unfortunate for you, buddy. Hey, I'm wrapping those, baby. Whooping those. Come on, is he got the LMG again? <laughs> what the hell, bro? Like that, I disappeared, boy. Better know. Better understand where you're getting shot from. GG's, but it's all good. We still won that. No, bro, D. GG's. All right, guys. So here is the class that I'm currently rocking with. It is going to be the STG44. You guys see from my perks, we're rocking the CCT comms vest. We're rocking the Marksman Gloves, Clover Sneakers, Ghost TV Camo, and EOD Padding. And of course, we got the stem for our tactical and in our munitions box for a field upgrade. For our very first attachment we have is the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor. It's going to increase our recoil control, our bullet velocity and range, and of course, make it silent when it comes to the radar. Next attachment we have is going to be the barrel. It's going to be the Heen Richer C7 Long Barrel. For the pros, we got bullet velocity and range, and of course, aiming idle sway. Next attachment we have is going to be the underbarrel. We got the VX Pineapple. Pearls, we got aim, walk, and steadiness, hit, fire, attack, stance, spread. We got gun kick control, and of course, recoil control, helping the accuracy and recoil for this weapon. Next thing we're rocking with is going to be the 40 round mag, increasing that magazine size. And last but not least, we have any optics you want, but I chose the Jack Glassic Optic because it's the cleanest, the slickest, and of course, it has the best reticle sight when you're looking down for precision. You guys, let me know what you think about the gun and the class in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like. It's been your boy Zay. Till next time, peace out.